Hi there. Everybody knows the story of the three little pigs. Or at least they think they do. But I'm going to let you in on a little secret. They don't know the real story. Because I haven't told my side of the story yet. My name is Alexander T. Wolf, and you can call me Al. I don't know how this big bad wolf stuff got started. Maybe because wolves eat furry, cute little animals like pigs and sheep and bunnies. But what if cheeseburgers were cute and cuddly? Would you be thought of as big bad, mean person? I don't know. Anyway, this big bad wolf story is it's just a story. It's not right. This story is about a sneeze and a cup of sugar. And this is the real story. Way back, once upon a time time, I was baking a birthday cake for my grandmother. I do remember that I had a very bad head cold that day. And I needed a cup of sugar to finish the cake. So I'm going to go to the neighbors. My neighbor happens to be a pig. Not a very smart pig by the looks of things because he built his house out of straw. Now who does that? Anyway, I walk up to the door and knock, knock, knock. And the whole door fell in. I didn't mean to do that. Didn't know that was going to happen. But the pig didn't answer. So I kind of looked in there and said, Mr. Pig, Mr. Pig, are you in there? No answer. I'm just about to turn around and leave when I get the urge to sneeze. Head cold, remember? Ah, chew! Whew. Oh my goodness, the whole house just fell down. And look, he was there the whole time. There he is laying on the ground. He's dead. What am I going to do? Oh, well, I am kind of hungry. We do eat pigs. Uh, I had lunch. Okay, well, I'm feeling better and I'm kind of satisfied, and, but I still don't have my cup of sugar. Okay, so I'm going to go to the next door neighbor. Happens to be his brother, another pig. Walk up to the door. This guy looks a little smarter. Built his house out of sticks. Get up to the door. Bam, bam, bam. Little pig. Mr. Pig, are you in there anywhere? Well, this time I get an answer. He said, go away, Mr. Wolf. I'm not going to let you in. I'm shaving the hairs on my chinny chin chin. Well, that's kind of weird, but that's kind of frustrated. I was going to shake the doorknob. All of a sudden, my head cold. What you? Another house fell down. Another pig. Dead as a doornail. I had a second lunch. I didn't know what else to do. I couldn't leave it there to spoil. So I'm still not got my cup of sugar, so I go next door to the next one. Another pig. Must have been the smartest of the three brothers because he built his house out of bricks. So I go up to the door, bam, bam, bam. Mr. Pig, Mr. Pig, are you in there? He says, get out of here, Wolf, I'll never let you in. Well, that's kind of rude. Said, I just want a cup of sugar. I'm not giving you a cup of sugar. And then he says, Well, I'm just about to, I'm just about to go home. I don't know what I'm going to do. And he says, And your grandmother can sit on a pen. Ooh, you don't talk about my grandmother. That'll make me mad. So I got aggravated. I got irritated. I started pounding on the door. And I started sneezing and everything. My head cold got going. I was huffing and snuffing and making a big scene of the whole thing. And the cops came. Well, of course, the cops, they didn't want to hear my side of the story. They just wanted to take me in. And the newspapers, they came. And they couldn't buy it that I was just trying to borrow a cup of sugar. They found out about the dead pigs. And they made this whole story up about how bad I was and how mean I was. Well, there you have it. I was framed. That's the story. But can you lend me a cup of sugar?